Hello everyone and welcome back. Johnny D here and today we're taking a closer look at the RTX 3060 Ultra W OC 12 Gigabyte that I recently purchased on Timu. Yes, on Timu. Go figure, right? I was recently browsing Timu and I noticed that they added three new graphics cards to their inventory. They added the 3060 12 Gigabyte, a 3050 Ultra OC 8 Gigabyte and another 3050 red and black version uh, not overclocked. So on total impulse, I decided to purchase the 3060 card. Now what drew me in was that, you know, in all honesty, it, it, it's a very good looking card. Uh, it's got a solid metal backplate, the three fan design. And one of the things that really interests me is it has a one button overclock. Pretty interesting if you ask me. Now, the list price is $349.98, which to me is a little overpriced. But with Timu, you get all these coupons. So what I did is I used a $70 off coupon. So I, in total, I paid $279.98 for the card, which is about where this card should be in today's market. As the Gigabyte version comes in at $299, the three fan design. So that's about right. Now, this RTX 3060 is made by iGame or I should say, color. Uh, this is a company I'm not familiar with, so I looked them up, and it seems to be a legit company. The company is called Colorful, and they released their iGame series in 2018. Uh, they were founded in 1995. So Colorful is a brand with 20 plus years history. It is a comprehensive company that holds the largest shares in China's graphics card market. I did not know that. Integrated independent development, production, and sales. It's also a strategic partner of NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel in China. So, seems to be a legit company. And then according to GPUZ, it's actually a 3060-12 gigabyte card. It turns out that what they advertise as specs hold true. So, that's a good thing. So now we know that this is a legit card, let's take a look at the specs. So this is the GeForce RTX 3060. It is a three fan design. It has 3,854 CUDA cores, has a base clock of 1,777 megahertz, and of course, a one key overclock. Now, literally a one key overclock. You just push this button in and it automatically clocks up to 1,822 megahertz. That's pretty cool. Well, at least so they say, we'll have to check that out. The memory, they have 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. It has 192-bit BIOS. It does have two 8-pin connectors, which is unusual for the 3060. Uh, recommended power supply, 550 watts. It has three display ports, one HDMI, and the total length of the card is 310 millimeters. So I'm really curious to see what this card can do. And I want to try out that one key overclock really bad to see what kind of difference it makes while you're gaming or in the benchmarks. So with that said, let's take a look at the test bench that we have set up here today. I built this test bench special, uh, and it turns out that my wife really loves it and is going to take it after I'm done with this video. Uh, so what we have here is an i5 12600K. We have the Tough Gaming B760M Plus Wi-Fi DDR4. We have 32 gigabytes of DDR4 Trident 2x16 CL18 4000 megahertz. So nice speed RAM. One terabyte silicon power, re speeds up to 5000 megabytes per second, 650 watt power supply. Now we have a cooler front mounted, the Aurora Flow 240 by ID cooling. It's all housed in this micro ATX Apivia. Venom case. Hope I said that right. P H E N O M. And of course, I added a five inch display just for aesthetics because uh, my wife asked me to. Um, so, yeah, with that said, uh, let's hop into some benchmarks and see what this graphics card really can do. All right. So, let's go into 3D Mark. First up, we have Speedway. So what we did here is we're going to do two runs, one with the overclock off and the, and the second run with the overclock on. So on the first, uh, first run, we got a score of 2,109. On the second run, 
with the overclock button on, we got a score of 2,116. So a very marginal increase, so seven, a uh, difference of plus seven. In Time Spy, we see much of the same. On the first run, we got a score of 8,960. On the second run, we got a score of 8,993. So plus 33, marginal increase again. Moving over to Fire Strike, we actually see a bigger difference. So on the first run, we got a score of 20,492. On the second run, we got a score of 21,009. So we got plus 567. So 567 difference. So an actual measurable difference there. So moving over to Avatar, here we are in the in-game benchmark. Now, in-game, I couldn't see any noticeable difference. So this is why I turned to the in-game benchmark. And what we're going to see here is that at the end of the first run, uh, we see a score of 2,663, average frame of 67, and then a max of 93 with a minimum of 18 on the FPS. Now, when we take a look at the second run, you notice that the frame time graph on the GPU is a lot smoother, and which typically means you're going to have a much smoother gameplay. And also, if you notice that the minimums have increased drastically. So we have a minimum of 58 as opposed to 15 prior. So what this means when you engage the overclock button, what you're doing is uh, drastically improving your 1% lows and giving yourself a much smoother gameplay. So it's nice to see that that button actually does something and it's pretty useful. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's move on to some gameplay to see if this 3060 is still relevant on today's AAA titles. And here we go. All right, so here we are in Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we're at 1440p high settings, and we are getting between 66 and 70 frames per second. Um, you know, a pretty good showing here. Uh, this this 3060 is a last gen card, but it was a very, very popular card because it was a really good card. And still today with 4060, with the 40 series out, the 3060 is gonna give you a very nice gaming experience. Uh, we are in Cyberpunk, a very demanding title as well. Here we are at 1440p high settings, driving around the city. And we're getting uh, about 75 to 80 frames per second. Uh, it's looking really good. We're at 1440p high settings. And uh, you still have a great experience with this card, no doubt. All right, so here we are in Forza Horizon, 1440p ultra settings, DLSS set to quality. And yeah, we're getting between 70 and 80 frames per second, depending on the area. And it's looking good. Colors are sharp. Uh, so I threw this in because that's my favorite game. But um, yeah, the 3060, 12 gigabyte, very relevant card today. Uh, no doubt have a great experience if you should pick one up. So with that, I think we should wrap this up. All right, I think it's pretty cool that uh, Timu is now selling some relevant graphics cards. So that just gives everybody more options out there. Just caution you not to overpay for them. And we learned that that overclock button actually is pretty useful. It does uh, reduce your 1% lows, which is a real big deal in gaming. And uh, with that said, if you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up. And if you really like what I'm doing, I think you should subscribe so you get notified when I create new content. And with that said, you'll have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye now.